in commemoration of International Museums Day 2020, the National Trust is pleased to host a special presentation of virtual tours by some local museums. The passionate curators are pleased to share, in their own words, some of the amazing displays and exhibits collected over the years. Stars and the robins that sing merrily. Put them in the box, tie them with a ribbon, throw them in the deep blue sea. This museum opened up in May 2014. It was started in order to showcase pieces of history that Mr. Maharaj had collected throughout his life. At the time, there was no platform to showcase our automobiles and other personal pieces. The idea was to have a location where persons can visit, learn, share their memories and experiences, and be inspired. Love is one thing you can keep. You can take the plans and the wedding bells and whoever sings or promises. When you come to the Bridge Maharaj Auto and Heritage Museum, we want you to feel like you've taken a portal into another time because that is how you should feel at a museum. Welcome to the Mudhouse Museum. This house is a mudhouse. It was built in 1885 to be used as a plantation house for children. However, since the death of Dr. Chattery, the property has been converted into a museum. The museum, the purpose of the museum is to keep the legacy alive. The roofing material was made from tin, which was brought from England as roofing tiles and was prepared for the British colonies where African and indentured laborers were now residing. Built to commemorate the Golden Jubilee of Queen Victoria's reign, the National Museum and Art Gallery began as the Royal Victoria Institute in 1892. Over the years, it has served a variety of functions, but today it houses over 10,000 artifacts and paintings of historic moments that will last a lifetime. You can visit the National Museum and Art Gallery at 117 Frederick Street, Port of Spain, Tuesdays to Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. All are welcome. It's free to enter. Hope to see you soon. Welcome to the Mondo Nuevo Heritage Museum. So this section is our Amarillan section. Here we have items handmade by the Carl Queen Jester Bridges, who was inaugurated in 1988. She was the Carl Queen for 12 years. And all these are her personal stuff. This section here. What we have on this side is Amarillan artifacts that was taken from a site in Manzanella. We have their food that they use, which really shares. Underneath we have batteries and stone axes. This one here is, a real, real, is one of the religious stones that they had. Lower down, we have the Kyle Chief. This, um, all this, he was a carpenter and the uh, machine repair as well.
welcome to the Lord Kitchener Gallery at Rainorama Palace in Dingo Martin, Trinidad and Tobago, West Indies. On behalf of the family of the late great grandmaster of Colosso, we want to welcome you to our presentation of the Lord Kitchener Gallery where we showcase all of his artifacts, records, and we commemorate the prolific writer and cultural icon that he was. The family, with the support and help of the government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, have been able to archive some of the trophies and awards that Olin Roberts, the lead great for Kitchener, has received over the course of his, his years of entertaining. The varying countries that he has visited and invitations to international platforms have been able to propel his career even further. So these are just some of the artifacts, awards, certificates, records that we have on showcase here at the Lord Kitchener Gallery at Vienna Ramba Palace in Diego Martin. Here we have the gold record that he received, Melodies of the 20th Century, with his highest growth in sound, Sugar Boom Boom. Pictures, past shows, awards, certificates, things that he treasured and valued the most. On behalf of the family, I wish to thank you for viewing our presentation of the Lord Kitchener Gallery here at Rainorama Palace in Diego Martin, Trinidad and Tobago, West Indies. Be sure to visit us on your next trip to Trinidad and Tobago and learn more about this great cultural icon who has contributed so much to the cultural landscape of the great republic of Trinidad and Tobago.